Hey, what's cracking everybody? Today I'm going to take a look at a system called Kinotix. Kinotix is a uh, Debian based system that uses the uh, KDE desktop environment. And uh, right here you can see on their website everything is in, uh, I believe, dirt German or, I don't know, it says right here Dutch. But there's also a tab right here for English. So click on that and it transfer everything to English. All right, that makes everything more easier. And it says, welcome to Kinotix. Kinotix is a rock solid Linux base on Debian, which contains the newest packages and recognizes more modern hardware than any other operating system in use today. Wow, that's saying a lot. And it also says Kinotix is assembled for 32-bit i586 and for AMD64 using the most up-to-date kernel with unique patches. And also Kinotix will run as a live CD on practically any computer automatically detecting and configuring virtually any piece of hardware. It is ideal for analysis, data rescue, forensics work, removal of viruses on Win PCs, or simply for safe surfing and mailing in an internet cafe. It installs to your hard drive in just a few minutes, and it's ideal to use on your desktop workstation or notebook, or as a server. Have fun with Kinotics. All right, I already got it uh, installed in a virtual machine. It uses the Calamari's installer, so uh, let's head on over there and take a look at uh, Kinotix. And we are here on a virtual machine now, and you can see right here, this is Kinotix. And it is using the uh, Plasma 5. It's not Plasma 6, it's Plasma 5 that it's using, which is basically the uh, old school version of uh, Kinotix. So being that it's Plasma, it has the uh, traditional uh, panel on the bottom, kind of set up in a Windows layout, which gives you your system tray on the right. And the system tray has a date and time. Hovering your mouse over it gives you a date. And if you click on it, it opens up a calendar. Then you have a show hidden icons tab. And if you open that, it shows the background services, status and notifications. Then next to that, you have your networks, you have your keyboard layout, your most recent device, and your volume rocker. And then on the left hand side, you have right here your uh, desktops. These are, the, you can call them desktops or workspaces. It's your choice. Then next to that, you have your web browser, terminal, and your file manager which are gonna be your standard tools on any uh, desktop. And then you also have a minimize all windows button. And then next to that, we have our application menu. So let's take a look at our applications. So the categories we have right here are recent applications, recent files, development, education, games, graphics, internet, canonics, multimedia, office, settings, System, Utilities, Help, and your Power Menus. Gives you your Sleep, Switch User, Hibernate, and all that. Then you also have your uh, Power Menu buttons right here on the side, along with your uh, favorites right here, which are pinned. All right. And uh, like I said, it is using the uh, KDE Plasma desktop environment, but it is a uh, Plasma 5 and not Plasma 6. So... Uh, it is kind of set up in an old school way. You can see that uh, it kind of looks old school and it has a light theme. But uh, let's open up the system settings. Take a look at that first and then we can uh, change up some settings. So the system settings right here is pretty much uh, set up almost like uh, the GNOME uh, system settings where you have all of your uh, functions right here on the left hand side. And, you know, clicking on each one is going to open up a new function, a new set of uh, functions. So you just go through them all and you can set up your system just the way you like it. So the categories you got right here are going to be appearance. You got your workspace. You got your search. You got your personalization. You got your network and your hardware settings. So pretty much everything on your system. So let's take a look at the about. Oh, that's the about KDE system settings. It doesn't really give you a point number or anything like that. It just uh, has a uh, basic uh, KDE information. All right. But since we have this open, let's take a look at appearance. So let me bring this back down again. You can see the desktop pretty much has an old school feel to it. But uh, we can change that on the fly. Let's go ahead and uh, 
make this smaller and then we'll open up a file manager and just put it right next to it just so we can see the changes take effect so right now we're on the steel fire and it says contains desktop layout but let's say we want to change it to breeze we can click on it and then you there's a check mark right here for a desktop and windows layout and if you click on apply it's going to change everything from the panel see how the panel looks now pretty much change everything up and then we also have a breeze dark and i'll do the same for that Get the desktop and everything all right and that's how the dark and the dark is a lot easier on the eyes too and i noticed that it also changed the uh, background so that's pretty cool so now it looks like a completely different uh desktop environment and that's pretty cool and that's pretty much your uh, theming you could also change other things like your plasma style application style colors like on the plasma i'll go ahead and i'll switch it up to a uh, steel fire oxygen and it'll change up the panel right here so the panel and your menu all that changes all right i'm satisfied with that so i'll go ahead and close this down close this down and then uh if you want to change the wallpaper you just right click on the desktop and configure desktop and wallpaper and right here basically it just has a uh, two wallpapers but you can you know download anything from the internet but you know if you select it it'll open up that wallpaper then you just go back to the other one all right all right so that's your appearance settings pretty cool and as far as the software we do have a uh, discover which is a software center let's open that up take a look see how it works and the software center right now is loading i don't know if it's going to update or not but it looks like it's loading but while it's loading let's go ahead and click on the uh, about and it says discover 5.27.5 and then it also has some settings pretty much gives you all your uh, repositories and things like that and you could also inst install a uh, flat pack or snap packages but I'm not going to do all that. And then you got a tab right here for your installed application. So pretty much these are the things that are already installed. And then you have a home tab. In the home tab, you got your most popular editor's choice, highest rated games, highest rated developer tools, things like that. So let's take a look at Genie. I'm not sure if it's installed or not. I don't think it is. But there's a button right here that says install. Let's go ahead and click on it and enter your password. All right, you can see the task right here that's running. So once this is finished, that means that it's installed. But let's take a look at these uh, sections right here. So you got all applications, you got access accessibility, accessories, developer tools, education, games, graphics, internet, multimedia, office science and engineering system settings application add-ons so you can add other applications i guess and then your plasma add-ons and this is discover your software manager so i believe we just installed a uh, genie so Let's take a look. All right, this is Dini. Pretty much it's a, you know, IDE text editor. Simple, fast, and lightweight. Genie 1.38. All right, but there is a tab right here that says Canotics. Let's take a look at that. So it says Canotics ISO Writer. Let's take a look at that. So I guess you would find your source. Then you'll find your USB drive. And I guess you'll flash it. Now, does this have an about? Has a version. Canotics ISO Writer 12.0.16. All right, let's go back to Canotics. See what else they have. They have printer set up. So if you had a printer connected to your thing, I don't know if it sets up a uh, wireless and all that, but it did open up Firefox. So I guess it does it through the internet. I'm just guessing at this point, but it says right here, open printing cups. All right, it's taking a while. Then you're at home. Then you got administration, classes, help, jobs, and printers. But it's all just uh, online. It's just giving you information online about it. And that's cool. 
All right. There was another thing on here. It says remove all unused kernels. So let me give you my password. All right. So it doesn't, I guess it removed all unused kernels. All right. And that was under the uh, canonics tab. All right. But you also have your multimedia, your office, your graphics, pretty much standard, which you'll get on most systems. All right. So this is canonics. It's a KDE a Debian based system. Uh, looks pretty good. You can theme it however you like. You know, it is KDE Plasma, so pretty much you can do whatever you want with it. So if it's something you want to take a look at, I'll have the links down in the video description. That way you can uh, play with it in the virtual machine and see what you like. All right, you guys, that's going to do it for me on this video. And I'm out.